All right, so we're here with Jared. We're gonna fly the drone and check out the lakes. Just get an overview of the lakes. All right, this first lake is my backyard lake. Um, it looks like two squares connected by a channel. This first square behind my house is anywhere from 10 to 12 feet. Uh, there's a couple little smaller, uh, shallower holes, but that's the majority is 10 to 12 feet. The other side of the channel, the other square, is anywhere from 10 to 25 feet. We're coming up on the channel that I was talking about that connects the two large uh, water masses, the two squares that I referred to. We're going up the channel now, and the other square here is the one I said is up to 25 feet. Still a lot of construction ongoing. I've never fished these little ponds. Uh, there's a couple of them that I'd like to just sometime take my golf cart to and just, just throw in, see what's out there. We're now approaching the main lake. This is where I do a lot of the home lakes videos. Uh, it's just great bass fishing. Uh, there's the weeds, the lilies, uh, these two land masses right here, uh, or islands as I call them, are filled with gators and wildlife, birds. There's a lot of ducks, so you'll see them while you're going over this. Um, just, just beautiful area. You're not gonna see a lot of the um, depths from this angle but when we fly back the other way you'll see the different changes in depths it's the way the sun's hitting the water right now As you can see, it's just a beautiful place to fish. It's a fisherman's paradise. 
Um, I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to live here. And there's the tunnel I've uh, shown in a couple of my videos to get to the other large body of water in this main lake. I haven't checked the depths of the entire site over here, but um, sporadically I've checked, and I, I believe there is about a 20 foot hole in a couple of spots, but most of it's 10 foot. As we move forward through here, those little two dots of grass right there, to the right of that you can see a deeper channel and that is where I keep floating um, back and forth. There's a lot of fish holding and feeding in that deeper water next to that sandy looking shallow area. The flyover allows you to see the overview of the lake, but it really doesn't do the beauty justice. Just an absolute gorgeous set of lakes. We're coming up on another tunnel to kayak through. I haven't done it yet, um, but to get to another uh, body of water on this main lake. So in this portion of the main lake I have no clue of the depths and I've never fished it so it's probably the next area I'll explore. Alright this next small lake that we're flying over I've never fished it but look how green and deep that water looks. We're going to have to check it out one day. It's just, it's a beautiful green color. You may get surprised. We're going to do one last flyover of the lily and wheat bed area just to get a closer look.
Here we were just looking to see if we could find some gators or just different wildlife. It's just a little island. All right, that completes our flyover. We're now landing in the backyard. I want to thank Jared for his help. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs>